Thank, thank you. Next to you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, Madam Secretary, I, I've got three areas that I'm going to mention, and I'm hopeful that you'll be able to respond to at least one of them. And if we don't get a second round, Mr. Chairman, I would hope that the people that are here would uh, respond to them uh, to me in, in writing. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to congratulate you on putting together a great team. Uh, I, uh, I don't know of any Secretary of State that's had more on their plate than you have, and uh, you understand that you can't do it alone. Uh, I also applaud the fact that you have uh, created two Deputy Secretaries, one for management and one for policy. As you know, I've been was critical of the former administration because they didn't pay enough attention to management. Uh, I want to tell you that the most important, one of the most important things you've done for your people is the issue of location pay. Yes. And I hope that that uh, is reflected in this budget. Uh, the Foreign Relations Committee hasn't yet set out their vision, I guess, for the next five years, but that's important. Uh, second of all, I'd like to say that where the visa waiver program has worked, uh, they have less work than they had before because of that program. And last but not least, uh, the embassies. I visited a couple of countries, and uh, they're, they're really pleased with those embassies. Uh, and it, I think it's important to the countries because they ind it indicates to them that the United States is really interested uh, in them and their future. Uh, last week, uh, I was in uh, Slovenia, Croatia, uh, Bosnia, Macedonia, Kosovo, and Serbia with, uh, <laughs> with Senator Shaheen. And uh, I know you're focused on Iraq and Iran and Afghanistan, but uh, probably more than maybe some other Secretary of State, I know that you're interested in that region. We have spent a lot of time, a lot of money, and I'm concerned that if we don't pay attention to it, all of the progress that we have made uh, may, be, uh, may be for, uh, for naught. Uh, the good news, uh, when I visited these countries, they didn't mention the FMA or IMET, uh, but what they did mention was the state partnership uh, that, uh, state that they have with uh, our states. Uh, this wasn't on this trip, but when I was in Latvia the last time, the Latvian group going to Afghanistan uh, had the Michigan National Guard serving under it. And uh, I know that the Ohio Guard is doing a fantastic job in Serbia today. I mean, it's un just to hear their defense minister talk about that partnership, but uh, it just gives me goosebumps. Uh, second of all, you know that their, their, their budgets are not very good. They've got the same problems we have, but they're helping us in many of them in Afghanistan and Kosovo. And uh, they care about the region. It's interesting. Each of these countries, uh, you know, they, they're concerned about themselves but they realize they have a symbiotic relationship uh, with the other countries that, uh, that are there. And their vision, it's my vision, is that they all get into the European Union, they become part of NATO, and then become part of the Euro-Atlantic Alliance. And uh, a couple of things they're concerned about. One is EU membership. Uh, they know that there's fatigue today in the European Union, and many of them were using it as an incentive for, to get them to do some things you want them to do, but they're afraid that they'll never get in the, in the European Union. Uh, most of them were concerned about Bosnia. And put it in a nutshell, uh, the Butmar process has not worked. Uh, mo no progress will be made on that, they think, and this is the consensus till after the election, but what they're worried about is that in the election, they'll poison the well so that after the election, uh, the issue of, of changing the Constitution to give it more flexibility is not going to occur. And they, they argue strenuously uh, for uh, uh, Bosnia getting into the European Visa Waiver Program, and they also think it's very important that some indication of their getting IPMAP uh, is, is our map is going to is going to happen and uh, their concern is that uh, Dodik right now and uh, and his president one of the three presidents is in favor of, uh, of of NATO membership but after the election they think possibly this thing would just blow up and then we'll have a black hole uh, there uh, in that part uh, of the world in addition to that they're all concerned about Kosovo because you know the court's going to decide one way or the other on Kosovo and uh, I, when I talked with uh, uh, 
Prime Minister Thatchy, I said, you ought to be thinking about what's going to happen here. And I talked to the Serbs, so you better think about what's going to happen on the ground. And I think it's really important that the State Department or encourage them to do that. The last part of this deals with, uh, with Afghanistan. Uh, I had, uh, I was honored that Holbrook spent a couple hours. I went over there and spent, I, I was absolutely impressed with what they're doing. But I don't think that we have been candid enough with the American people about the commitment that we're going to have to make in Afghanistan if we intend to be successful. Now, you've mentioned some of the things that you're doing, but this is not going to be next year or the year after. This is maybe five, ten years. It could even be more than that if we're going to create an environment where the Taliban, who, uh, uh, you know, it's with them, it's, uh, you know, uh, al Akbar, okay? That's, that's what you're dealing with. And so you're going to have to really do a lot of work there to counter act that and get people to, to, to feel good about it. And you're also going to have to make, and, and you should level with the American people, okay? The last time around, if you remember, we were there, is that we did not level with the American people about uh, the commitment that we're going to have to make. We're just kind of, and we need to put it out. This is a commitment we're going to have to make. The Europeans, by the way, all, also want to know about the commitment in terms of military and also in, in terms of their, uh, uh, what do you call them, PRT. PRTs. And uh, I congratulate you on getting them all together. They don't feel like we're just telling them what to do. There's a consensus and you've got to keep doing it. But I think it's really important that, uh, that we level with the American people and the world about what kind of commitment we're going to have to make to be successful in Afghanistan. And uh, last but not least, uh, I'm concerned uh, about uh, whether Karzai is going to do his thing. And if you recall, in terms of Iraq, uh, we laid out a whole th a list of things they, they promised to do, and then we used metrics to see whether or not they did them or not. And I would think that rather than having it come from Congress, that you give some serious consideration to saying, here's what they did, we're going to monitor their progress so that you can keep us informed, and the American people, that they're doing what they're supposed to do, because if they don't do what they're supposed to do, we're in, we're in big trouble. Well, Senator, I don't think there's a thing you said that I disagree with. Um, and I thank you for your interest and focused on, focus on Southern uh, Europe. Um, we are uh, very uh, concerned as well about the direction we see Bosnia heading. We need to have more attention paid. We need to partner with the Europeans so that they uh, are committed. We are obviously a strong supporter of uh, the countries uh, in uh, Southern Europe going into the EU. We think it has a lot of uh, benefits for the countries, but also the broader uh, effort for integration in Europe and the transatlantic alliance. Uh, but we also think, uh, with respect to NATO, that we have to uh, make clear what it would uh, take to get MAP and then move uh, Bosnia forward. I, I think, you know, Senator, that um, your attention to these issues is something that I, I'd like to take more advantage of uh, because you have been consistently uh, concerned and involved. I share your uh, wariness about what happens after the court decision in Kosovo, and I think I'd like to follow up with you to make sure that we convey to our Serbian friends uh, and our Kosovar friends that this has to be managed in the right way. And finally, on Afghanistan, I, I agree that we have to be as candid as possible. We can't lay down uh, a clear uh, path forward uh, and say this is the way it's exactly going to be, but we can certainly set the general direction. And we have said consistently that our, you know, our goal is to transition military security to the Afghans. And we've seen some real progress under General McChrystal and General Caldwell in improvements in Afghan security, both army and police recruitment and retention and performance. Uh, but we are going to have a long-term civilian relationship, and we think we need that. We think that's going to be in America's interest. And I, I, I agree with you that we need to make that uh, as clear as we can. And we want also to use the metrics that uh, we've developed that I would hope have been shared with you, but if not, we will, uh, as to how we're going to try to hold the Karzai uh, government accountable. Thank you.